Employers of Reddit, what is the most inappropriate piece of clothing someone has worn to a job interview? A few years back, I had someone show up fresh out of the swimming pool, hair wet, bathing suit and cover up on, still wet, hadn't taken the time to dry off. I went through the interview and a test simulation of the job with her. She actually did very well at the simulation. When I took her to see my boss that made the ultimate decision. He took one look and said no. I didn't ask about the simulation or anything. Just no. I saw one guy come from the country club pool in an American flag tank top and swim trunks to the club's golf cart boy interview. He didn't get the job and then came back a week later in a full suit apologizing for his previous attire. Someone got lectured by their mom. A guy showed up in flip flops, cargo shorts and a tank top. Ended up being the best interview of the day by miles. Ended up one of the best people I ever hired. I still don't recommend anyone do this, but it has worked. Homecoming dress. She knew she was supposed to dress up for the interview, and that was the nicest thing she had. I felt so bad. She was incredibly embarrassed. It was her first real interview, and in the end I gave her credit for at least putting in the effort. He came into the IT interview in polo, khakis and aqua colored crocs with an anime made blushing painted on one and lining up a sniper shot on the other. He was late because security was concerned about his MLP chain wallet. Here we see the wild weeaboo released from captivity, searching for a way to survive. A pair of flesh colored leggings that made her look as if she wasn't pairing wearing pants at all. A sweatshirt that opened in the front, that had been pulled to the side a bit to reveal a lacy camisole top. We work as therapists. No freaking way she got that job. For more info, both her wig and glasses were askew. There was an odor somewhere between human and cat urine. And about halfway through she asked if she could take a break because she left her car running to charge her phone. We work as therapists. Maybe the kerning wasn't clear on your sign. I worked in the US Senate a couple years back. We were interviewing about half a dozen candidates for a pretty junior position. One of the interviewees was wearing a Harvard t-shirt, a Harvard jacket, and Harvard sweet pants. We were astounded. The first question my co-worker asked was did you go to Harvard? The guy did, and he handled the rest of the interview surprisingly well. He didn't get the job but he did become a running joke in the office for a while. Trying for a set bonus I guess. My master's student came to defend his thesis barefooted because his slippers got wet. I was the person. This was 20 years ago, and I had just moved to the city. I was 17 and spent 3 weeks working as a hostess at Denny's. A friend asked if I wanted to go rollerblading, so I was strapped into my rollerblades and was wearing athletic wear. She then pulled up to her gym, had me walk in my rollerblades up to the second story where the daycare was, and told me that I was interviewing for the nanny job that she heard was available. I actually got the job because the woman who owned the gym was impressed that I could climb stairs in my rollerblades. Daycare, climbing stairs in rollerblades. There is an analogy there, not entirely out of place. I interviewed a young woman who wore a skirt so short I did actually see her underwear when she sat down. The underwear was pink. I gave her feedback later that she should have worn a suit. This was for a business analyst role. Everyone else was wearing a suit. Comma the underwear was pink. It does sound like you analyzed her business though. Saggy pants with whitey tighty underwear. When he bent over to sign in at the desk you could see his whole butt. But not his butthole. I sent some disappointment in the brackets. PJs she was pulled out of bed and brought to me and my boss for her interview she didn't know she was having. After 5 minutes we offered her a job and she actually turned out really well. Back when I was an hourly manager at Walmart, guy came in with greasy hair, white t-shirt full of holes, and sweatpants. And to top it all off, he looked like he had a semi. Surprisingly he didn't smell, and the clothes actually looked clean so that was good. But still, I gave him a hard no. But the overnight assistant gave him the go, because he wasn't going to be on her shift, and she thought it was hilarious. This guy was a freaking nightmare, wore that same outfit, now never washed, almost daily, smelled like death, but, and coming, and he was crazy. We were finally able to fire him after he pulled out his pocket knife and cut his co-worker. Thankfully the cut didn't cause any real damage to the kid, but seriously, WTF.
Smelled like death, but, and coming. One of those is oddly specific. Not an employer but when I applied for my city's M's it was a pretty grilling interview process. Showed up in a nice shirt, dress pants and attire. Guy who was interviewing with me showed up in ripped jeans wearing chains and a white shirt. This was an interview with three senior paramedics and the medical director of the city. They told him to leave and come back when he was serious about it. I just interviewed for city EMT about 14 days ago. I wore a piecemeal suit that looked pretty good. The guy after me was wearing cargo shorts, hiking boots, and a plain t-shirt. After I walked out, he looked at me and his face fell. I hope he interviewed well, for his sake. The interview was with two paramedic lieutenants. I worked with a guy who applied to the local big city fire department. Apparently all candidates had to submit a passport type photo of themselves. Although I failed to see how that's relevant. Diversity quota perhaps? Anyways. This guy was a gym nut and also sent a full head and torso photo of himself, with no shirt on. When I asked him why, he replied so they know I'm not a twink. Well, it must have worked, as Twinkie is now a firefighter. That's the twinkiest thing I ever heard. One time I was having dinner in a restaurant and saw a young woman come up to the counter and ask for a job application. The employees gave her one and she sat down near me to fill it out. This is when I noticed she was wearing a cap with a huge pot leaf on it. She finished it, returned it to the counter, and asked what the follow up would be. The employee said we'll contact you in a few days for an interview. And when you come back, don't wear that hat. Go spend a day at court. You'll be amazed how many people show up to the judge in their best pot leaf or rebel flag t-shirt. Woo boy, the guy without pants. At my last job, I spent 10 months in 2017 on a research team doing statistical learning research for health informatics. It's a very large healthcare company, and they basically took almost a dozen of their PhD researchers from BI, R&D, and market dev, temporarily reassigned them to the new center for data excellence. Two of the PhDs were director AVP level, so they each got to bring a team member with them. My director brought me from market dev because my background's in mathematical modeling. But the other guy didn't have anyone in his department who was free enough to bring along. So they posted the job and started interviewing. I'd do the pre-interview stuff with one of the junior PhDs, and then the senior team members who come in. Anyway, four days into interviewing, we get one dude up on Skype for his interview, and he's way too close to the screen, like his laptop's up on his knees. We asked him to move the laptop back a bit, and he gives it up that he can't, because the lower part of his shirt has a huge, fresh coffee stain, and his pants are hanging on the adjacent wall. He'd lost track of time and rushed home, and he'd spilled his coffee in his hurry. We told him, no problem, we'll find a new time for you, the shirt might be a goner but be sure to wash the pants in hot water right away. We actually hired that dude, and I think he's still there. Great guy. Honesty is usually the right call. Crap happens to everyone, but how you deal with it is always relevant. I was on the opposite end of this. I was fresh out of school and had been struggling to get an interview anywhere. I finally got a call about an interview at a white collar firm, and was told to be at the office at 9am and to dress casually. Two days before the interview, I drove out to the office at 5.15 to see how the employees dressed so I could get an idea of the work environment and what to wear. Everyone was wearing dark suits, including the women. I decided to dress business casual, wearing khaki slacks, a light blue button down shirt, and a brown sport coat. On the morning of the interview, I arrived at 8.45 am. I had spent several days preparing responses to potential questions I could be asked. I had fresh copies of my resume in a fancy portfolio, and had done everything I could to make a good impression. I even whitened my teeth and got a haircut the day before. I was ready. My interviewer didn't show up until about 10 a.m. She walked in and said, Sorry I'm late. I had some errands to run this morning. I was a little taken aback, especially considering she came in with a big Starbucks cup. I kept my poker face up and pretended like it didn't bother me that she decided to get coffee instead of being on time. Then I noticed she was wearing yoga pants and a sweatshirt. She shook my hand and said, I thought I told you to dress casually. The rest of the interview went as about expected. She even told me that my GPA, achievements, and awards in grad school didn't matter. 
She pretty much just made fun of me the whole time in between stories about her kids. Awesome. Maybe if I would have worn a tank top, gym shorts, and flip flops things might have gone better. I did not get the job. Now I kind of want to know how much worse she would have been without that coffee. Seriously though, as the recipient of some awful higher ups, sounds like you dodged a bullet. I have one from just last month. This guy was coming in to interview for a financial advisor program. Everyone in our office dresses very professional, and most people I interview are dressed in their best suits. This gentleman came in wearing a stained white dress shirt, with a yellow tinted white undershirt. I forget what kind of pants, but he had a cloth joker belt. Why so serious written all over it with a joker's face in green and black that he didn't loop through the rest of his pants and was swaying around when walking. He also had very long creepy fingernails that were very dirty and he kept rolling and rubbing his fingers together to get the dirt off subconsciously. The icing on the cake was he coughed and snorted something up very loudly, then swallowed it, then loudly commented nice. Somehow this guy aced our assessments and put together a great resume, but was just the exact opposite of professional. We are still not sure if he was trying to frick with us. Or was that terribly oblivious? I just assumed he was interviewing for someone else, like Ben Affleck at Goodwill Hunting. <laughs> Fellow I knew was the counselor at the unemployment center. He said he had to explain to one guy he was coaching for job interviews. Don't wear that hat that says beer makes me smart. <laughs> a Hageo hoodie. You're pretty much hired, but there is also a private one-on-one -on -one interview that you need to complete. Please follow me. I had a young guy come in one day who I think was clearly trying to not get the job. Like his dad gave him an ultimatum to get a job or get out type of thing and he was just going to interviews to appease him. He had his hair in pigtails high on the sides of his head with wire threaded in them so they'd stick out. Black t-shirt that said frick on it in giant white letters. Plaid schoolgirl style skirt. Rainbow tights. 90s chunky club kid style shoes. At that point you are obligated to give him the job out of raw spite. It wasn't so much of inappropriate clothing. It was more the action of uncrossing her legs very wide while wearing a short skirt. Meanwhile never taking her eyes off mine. Yeah, she was an hour nightmare waiting to happen. Ah yes, she was basic instincting you. A tight muscle shirt. It's great that you work out. Big guy, but it's not to gym. Plus he only worked his glamour muscles. He was thick around the middle. Dude, at least give the office a show. I've never had to deal with inappropriate clothing at an interview before, but, and probably worse, I did have to try to explain a way to elected officials and citizens at a public consultation meeting why the engineering consultant we contracted out for a portion of developing that town's strategic plan showed up in a freaking Hawaiian shirt and flip flops. Reason I gave. He wanted to stand out and field as many questions as possible by sticking out like a sore thumb and seeming approachable. Real reason, this was his last gig before retirement, so he had zero fricks, and he had just signed his divorce papers that morning and spent the afternoon drinking at the hotel bar with his lawyer. Unfucking real, nothing in his contract dictated anything about attire, since 99% of what he was paid to do was going to be done from his winter place in Arizona, only that he would be expected to show up at any public consultations. You better freaking believe our standard contracts going forward included a clause on it. Frick, he's an engineering consultant, they hit a certain age level of experience and you best believe they can do as they wish. Now how most of them wishes maybe wear jeans a tad more often and work from home one day a week. But boy there's really nothing you can say to an engineer who has so much experience they can design your facility backwards with their eyes closed. Had a candidate come in for a recruiting role. She was young and beautiful, but she was wearing some of the tightest yoga pants ever. Nothing was left to the imagination. Her top looked great though. Had the same happen, young. Attractive, yoga pants that seemed painted on, college hoodie, two of five on her interview loop were women, one being a manager, she absolutely aced the interview, nobody said a freaking thing about the yoga pants, we hired her, a see through shirt, I could make out the details of her bra, right after that, a candidate came in with one eye in bright green shadow, liner, and mascara, the other eye was completely free of makeup, poor attention to detail, that was weird day. I actually got a job by showing up scruffy, 
At the time I'd been working construction trying to get back into office work, saw a now hiring side and just wandered in and asked for an application. The person who handed me the application was nice and polite to my face, then told another co-worker that guy has no chance, showing up like that. The other co-worker was my cousin, who informed the HR manager, who called me to apologize and invited me for an interview. I didn't even know what had transpired until my cousin told me later. But I said oh no worries I was just passing through and obviously I'll be appropriately dressed if you hire me haha. <laughs> Made sure I was properly cleaned up and dressed appropriately for the interview. Got the job and ended up working there for 5 years. Had they not made some stupid remark I may not have even been considered. I had an interviewee for an entry level. Customer service position at a large company show to our interview 15 minutes late in Hello Kitty pajama bottoms. A matching backpack a bright pink hoodie, and warm and fuzzy slippers. I didn't even bother with the interview as she was late, but that has to be one of the most unprofessional attire I've seen in my hiring experience. The other I recall was a young woman interviewing for a customer service position at the airline I was at in an extremely low cut blouse and short skirt, all in black. Mentioned something during the interview about how she hasn't smoked weed in a couple weeks and wanted to make sure we knew she wasn't high. An extremely short dress, but, I ended up hiring her because she had experience. Turned out she was pregnant, coming from school, and her husband had met her at the interview site so she could change clothes and that is what he had brought. She was so embarrassed, but did not have time to go home and change into something else. She ended up being the best worker I had ever hired. Don't judge a book by its cover. So many of the stories on here, they had a really amazing interview, seemed perfect for the job. They didn't get it. Me. Back in ancient times when you still got an application. I walked into a Dillard's wearing jeans and a t-shirt. Went to customer service and asked for an application. An older, extremely well dressed lady was there and she asked me if I owned a suit. I said if you hire me I will get one. She said go back to men's and get fitted. She was the area sales manager for women's shoes. At the time. And as far as I know still. Dillard's had a policy that women's shoes would have an attractive young man in a suit. Apparently I qualified as attractive. Her previous token had just been transferred to a much larger store because he was so good at his job. Our store was kinda the minor leagues and she needed to get a new live body mail that day. The next not gargoyle who walked in was getting hired. I walked in and was not a gargoyle. Last thing she told me was never come in this store in jeans again, not even on your day off. We were one step away from Disney in maintaining the fantasy. I worked for a high-end software development firm. We wore business casual, and were fairly on the casual end of that, but one day someone showed up to the interview in a bright fluorescent orange oversized hoodie, cargo pants, and sandals. They did not get the job. Scrolling down to see if someone posted about the time I showed up to a professional interview in a grease strained blouse and bloody knuckles. I blew a tire on the way there and had to change it on the side of the highway. Not an employer, but I recently watched this train wreck happen. My boyfriend's second job just hired several new people. BF and I were hanging out at his place of work after his shift was over, and we had the pleasure of witnessing an interview. Please note that this is a pretty casual place. All of the workers there wear jeans and gym shoes or boots to work. Their uniform is a t-shirt with the company logo, although sometimes the workers come in wearing a different, occasionally nicer, tops depending on if there's an event there or something. Interviewee shows up wearing the tiniest, tightest, sparkliest party dress I've ever seen in my life. It barely covered her nipples, her entire, brolis, back was exposed, and when she sat down on the chair for her interview, her whole bare butt hit the chair because the dress could not physical stay over her bottom while sitting. She was also wearing 6 inch heels. No offense meant towards prostitutes. Truly. Seeing as how my best friend was one for a bit. But she honest to god looked like she had just walked in from the street corner. The only place that outfit would have been appropriate was in a bedroom. Really. I cannot stress enough just how little clothing this lady was wearing. It was truly one of those situations where you knew you weren't supposed to steer. But you just couldn't look away. There were customers there at the time as well and nearly all of them were staring at her in shock, the exception being a couple of men who were there with their wives. Those men were staring straight forward, wide-eyed, not daring to move their heads an inch, 
lest their wives think they were looking like it was a spectacle anyway so the next day bf finds out they hired her apparently the skeevy old owner of the place liked I her resume after all hopefully she remembers to wear pants or at least underwear when she starts she was also wearing six inch heels no offense meant towards prostitutes around here the streetwalkers wear normalish clothes and maybe three four inches pumps you can tell they're working because of the heels and the eye contact I once had a guy not wearing shoes hand me an application written on a paper plate. I had a man show up in very dirty badly ripped jeans and a tattered ball cap. He had also decided to dye his hair pumpkin orange and pull it through the back hole in the ball cap. No ponytail. Just contained by the open hole on the cap. A guy in a Harley t-shirt came by applying for a job. What was so special was his Harley hat and the half smoked and butted out cigarette he had behind his ear. I actually thought it was a practical joke or something. At my last job we had a video interview with a guy who didn't realize that he was also on camera. He took the interview shirtless and in his bed. After about 3 minutes he figured it out and faked a disconnect lol. My favorite first. Guy came in wearing a cap that had C and caviar on it. A girl wearing Daisy Dukes. Men are tracksuits, football shirt, dirty suit, leggings that are far too stretched and almost clear on the bum, short skirts, jeans. Not an employer, but I had put in an application for my current job and was asked if I could come in and interview within a couple of hours. I was volunteering at a therapy stable in the summer heat when they called. I told them that I was not at all dressed to impress, but I was willing to come in anyway. So I walked in there in yoga pants. A tank top and muck boots sweaty and stinking of horses i got the job he wore a polo with our competitors logo on it i had a candidate show up to the interview shirtless suit tie black socks brown sandals you have been spotted by the money pigeon comment gimme gimme and he will bless you with good fortune if you are new to the channel you can subscribe I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.